Research at Swedish universities and companies has resulted in many successful innovations. For example, the pacemaker, the dialysis machine and mobile telephony. Innovative Swedish thinking has also given us the music streaming service Spotify and Skype. 100 years ago, Sweden was one of the poorest countries in Europe. Today, it's ranked as the world's most innovative country. Let us take you on a journey through some of the research areas in which Sweden excels. One of these many fields is nanotechnology, where among a lot of projects, research is in progress in creating an inexpensive, easily chargeable battery containing no metals. One of the biggest breaches my research group has been just that we could show that cellulose from a environmentally harmful could be used in a energy gathering situation. Here you can see examples of electrodes in the battery. It consists of cellulose and a leading polymer. This brand new battery developed at the University of Uppsala is made entirely out of algae. Little wonder this Swedish invention has generated so much attention. I think personally that we will change all materials around us, our way of taking care of diseases and our way of communicating, eating, clothe us, live. I think that new technology in 30 years will change everything so that we don't feel like we can hold it back to today. Let's go to the University of Lund. Another exciting area where Swedish scientists are at the forefront is the Smart Hand project. Here, a young man who lost his hand due to cancer will have it replaced by an artificial hand. Och börja pekfingret. Och tillbaka. This is a venture between several countries that involves research in the fields of nano, neuro and information technology. Det bygger på att jag måste använda muskler i armen som jag inte använt på många år, vilket är svårt. När man greppar hårt om någonting så så känns det i fingerspetsarna som jag inte längre har, vilket är fantastiskt. At St. Jürgen's Hospital in Stockholm, another groundbreaking innovation is being developed. It involves a brand new method for treating breast cancer. The cancerous tumor is defeated using a high-frequency electric current. The method only requires a minimal operation, is totally painless and yet very effective. The high-frequency electricity kills the cancer cells and renders the tumor harmless, eliminating the need for invasive surgery. It was good, I felt nothing. It was the worst thing through the skin. At the Swedish University of Agricultural Science in Alnarp, an ecological battle against insect infestations is being waged. The researchers have developed a method that can reduce mosquito populations to prevent malaria. They also provide an eco-friendly way of preventing insect attacks on fruit plantations. Great progress has been made using pheromones that trigger responses from an insect's sensitive sense of smell. We have taken a formulation in the form of an e-hole snow, so we can get a very effective and very targeted treatment. In comparison to that we would have sprayed the whole seedling, we would have stopped all the pests and all the pests. Another very interesting field being developed by Swedish scientists is so-called smart textiles. Students from all over the world are coming to the heart of the Swedish textile industry, the city of Borås and its university, to lead the field in creating tomorrow's smart textiles. It has nothing different from the other denim garments, just it has a functioning ability. It has a thermoregulating effect. The fabric adjusts to heat and cold, creating a more comfortable experience for the user. This school has really good reputation, and even students passing out, they have a good future with it. Swedish research has come a long way thanks to an open and international research climate that nurtures innovation. 
This melting pot of influences, ideas, and experiences provides the basis for creative solutions in all areas of life. Challenge yourself. Start your future in the country of the Nobel Prize.